Okay, I have a problem. Welcome back. So my Monstera Adansonia has mealybugs. Oh no. I was just checking in on it and it has mealybugs. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like because this is just drives me crazy. So here's my Monstera Adansonia and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like up close, but here's one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look at that, you guys. Look at it. It's everywhere on it. I don't even want to touch it because I'm scared. So I need to treat this and figure out what to do with it. Um, I know mealybugs shouldn't be too hard to treat, I'm hoping. Okay, so really quickly, since I noticed mealybugs on this Monstera, there's a possibility that my other plants might have mealybugs as well. So now, um, have to look through all my other plants just to make sure. Okay, this one seems fine. That one's fine. Oh, by the way, you guys, my Neon Pothos is doing so well. So cute. I love this. This is my favorite pothos. Well, actually, I like the Marble Queen pothos more, but that one isn't as fast growing as this guy. So, but it looks like this one's fine. I don't see anything on this one. I just have to figure out what to do with this one. Let me go online really quick, do some little bit of research, and see what I need to do. Okay, so based on the research that I've done so far, it looks like you can treat mealybugs in several different ways depending on the severity of the infestation. So for small infestations of like your house plants, you can try to spot treat uh, the mealybugs by using isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol and a cotton swab and kind of just applying it on the areas that you see the mealybugs. And for uh, larger infestations, you can try washing out the leaves first and try to dislodge any of the mealybugs and then going in and spraying it with some sort of insecticidal soap. Um, a safer option is using neem oil. So we're going to try that. Uh, after looking through and doing the research, it looks like my infestation it's just a very small infestation. I only saw it on a few of the leaves. And so I think I can go ahead and just spot treat this. Uh, but in addition to that, I do want to go ahead and spray it with neem oil as well because that's I already have that on hand um, and kind of clean off the leaves with it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I actually couldn't find any uh, like alcohol in a bottle. I only found these guys which are alcohol prep pads which is fine. This has, it's saturated with 70% isopropyl alcohol which is exactly what we need. And then I got my gloves. I also got a microfiber cloth so I can uh, spray this with um, neem oil and this is the one I use. And this is uh, from Safer Brand. It says it uh, controls black spots, powdery mildew, rust, spider mites, aphids, and white flies. So we're gonna use this also. 
But first, I'm gonna spot treat this guy and get rid of what I need to get rid of, and then we will clean the leaves and all that good stuff. So, let me put my gloves on. So, let's see. I'm gonna start with this leaf here because it's got the worst infestation. And based on the research that I did, alcohol, it shouldn't hurt the plant at all. Uh, so you shouldn't see any damage that's being done on the on the leaves. They like to hide, uh, so make sure you kind of open up every little nook and cranny and try to get everything that you that they could possibly hide in. Okay, so I'm just checking for more. I'm not seeing that much, actually. Just that one, like, stem with the new growth. But other than that, I'm not seeing any more, guys. So I think, I think I just caught it really early, which makes me really happy. I think I caught it before the infestation got more severe and it would have been harder to treat. Now the question is, do mealybugs, do they stick onto the moss bowl? Okay, so now I'm going to use the neem oil and I'm just gonna spray it on to the microfiber cloth rather than spraying it all over the plant. Uh, and I'm just gonna use it and clean the leaves with it. Oh no, I just ripped a leaf, no! Oh my gosh, okay, so um, I don't know if this is a good idea, but, or I just gotta be really careful when I'm wiping the leaves, yeah. So, just be really careful when you're wiping the leaves, guys, because the fenestrations on these uh, monstera leaves are so big and it makes the leaves really delicate. How do you guys clean the leaves of your monstera? Is there a better way that you guys do it? I actually don't mind wiping the leaves of my plants. I feel like it's really therapeutic and it's very very relaxing and just calming i was actually getting ready to water this plant when i noticed the mealy bugs so uh this plant needs to be watered still i'll do that next and we'll go ahead and water this plant so i'm just wiping the front the top of the leaves as well as the undersides a little more My dog's barking again. This is her favorite spot. I don't know if you could see her. She's right there. This is her favorite spot because it's right by the window and she can see people walking by. A little bit more. Uh, I'll also get rid of some of the leaves that don't look so good. Just some leaves are older and they're just near the end of their life cycle. So rather than the plant spending its energy on a dying leaf, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out so that the plant can focus on growing new healthy leaves. Okay, so that's how it looks. I'm back, I went ahead and watered the plant, fertilized the plant, and cleaned it up a bit, it got rid of some of the dead leaves. So if you guys want to see a watering uh, like routine and fertilizing routine, just 
um, in general like a plant care routine, then give this video a thumbs up so I know that you guys would want me to create one. I'll be back in about a week to give you guys an update. Hey guys, welcome back. So today is Thursday. Um, it's been about a week since I did my treatment on my Monstera Adansonii and so I wanted to update you guys really quickly on how it's doing. I had been like keeping an eye on this plant uh, ever since I did the treatment and I didn't see any mealybugs on it since. So you want to keep an eye out on the new growth and just looking at this new growth here, I don't see anything. So uh, all the areas that I treated, I haven't seen anything. Now I did additional research after I did the treatment and I did find that mealybugs have a life cycle of 7 to 10 weeks. And then for the eggs, it takes about a week or two for the eggs to hatch. Okay, so basically this is going to be a process getting rid of mealybugs and trying to uh, you know treat mealybugs is a process that could take several weeks although I'm not seeing any more mealybugs on my Monstera adansonii I will continue to treat this plant uh, for several weeks and I'll continue to uh, apply isopropyl alcohol if I see any mealybugs and I'll continue to clean the leaves with uh, with neem oil uh, just to prevent um, any future mealybugs from happening. In addition, I plan to continue to uh, quarantine this plant uh, and not have it around my other plants like I haven't put it back in the in the bookshelf where I originally had it so I just have it here on the floor. What are you doing? What are you doing, silly girl? Uh, so I will continue to keep it on the floor here, separate from my other plants, so that it doesn't infect any of my other plants. And after several weeks, if I no longer see mealybugs, then this plant can uh, kind of get out of isolation and go back into the shelf with the rest of the plant family. Uh, you can see that some of the leaves have been damaged from mealybugs. Uh, what mealybugs do is they suck the sap out of of the leaves uh, so you'll notice uh, oftentimes that the leaves will start to uh, become deformed or they'll turn yellow and just die and that's because mealybugs suck the sap out of the leaves and so you can see there's um, some damage on the leaves like some parts of it has turned yellow uh, hopefully the you know the leaf doesn't die but Either way, this plant grows so fast. It's a very fast growing plant, and so I'm really not too worried. I just wanted to make sure that I, you know, get rid of it and um, so that the plant continues to grow really healthy. So yeah, that's about it. If you guys have any other suggestions on the best way to treat mealybugs, then please leave me a comment below. And subscribe to see more videos and oh like this video if you enjoyed watching it or if you found it helpful and i will see you guys in my next video thank you say bye come here you want to say bye no you just want to be petted